story. Today I'm showing you the Spider Claw Niagara effect. First open content browser. Uh, in this folder? Yes. Right click create a new folder. In this folder I am doing this effect. Right click create a new material. Name it and open it. Select this in details. Then blend mode take mask. And in shading mode take unlit. Right click take noise. Select this in details take 2. In here take word null. Take 2. And uh, 3. Take off and this is 0. Connect this noise to emissive color. From world position take uh, Make float 3. Break out float 2. Connect this to this 2. From here, take uh, add, connect this, take and param, name it noise set off, offset, connect this, take and multiply, connect this, And press 2 its value is 10 and 0.3 and in here take a vector to radial value Here, take and multiply. Connect this to A. The B value is 2. And from multiply, take subtract. And again from subtract, take and add. The R value is minus 0.5. From R, take an abs. From abs, take a step. Connect this to Y. From step take minus one, one minus, sorry. Take and param, name it cone. Connect this to step. Its value is uh, point two. Now connect linear distance to multiply. Uh, no, 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 no. Connect the radial currents to multiply. And from abs. Wait a minute. From abs, take and multiply. From 
and multiply. Take a frac. Now take an one minus and from one minus take power. Take an param. Name it uh, bands. Connect this to multiply. Now from linear distance take add. From add take sign. And here take a step. Take and multiply. Connect this to add. From add take another add. Take and param. Name it ring. Connect this to add. From multiply, take mask. The mask in mask take G. Move this first step to down. Yes. Connect this. Oh, no, no, not this. Uh, where is it? Yes. Connect the mask to noise. Now, from multiply, take another multiply. And from here, take a param. Name it, district, anything. Connect this to multiply. Now connect the power to this multiply. Oh, where is it? Yes, here. From step, take another multiply. Connect this multiply to emissive color. And then here. Right click, take and multiply. Connect this to noise.
and connect this linear distance to multiply. Now from multiply, take another, uh, no, 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 take step. From step, take multiply. Connect this multiply to x not y. And from y, take a dynamic parameter. Change its name to dissolve. Now, in here, connect the step to B, not A, and connect this one minus to multiply connect this multiply to opacity apply and open content browser right click on it create material instance and open it. Tick on this all parameters and change its values. In content browser, right click, take it Niagara Fountain, name it and open it. In here, Delete the scale color, drag, gravity, and velocity. Now, select the sprite render. In here, take our material, instance material. Select the sphere location and in here take torus and delete this spawn rate. Add spawn burst instantaneous. Spawn count is 5. Go to initialize particle in mass mode. Take unset and here in sprite, in sprite size mode, take uniform. It's size set its size and go to sprite render in aligned. Take velocity aligned. In particle update, add dynamic material parameter. We will solve this material later. In here, click on this arrow, search for uh, float from curve. In here templates, click on this, select the first key and in here take a point 0.5 in particle spawn, add velocity, in here take some point, go to initialize particle, in here take a direct set. In 
Orange bright size mode take random uniform and change its size Select the shape location take direct Click on this arrow and search for Return normalized Just take Tick off and in handle radius take 0 in large radius how much it's far will move save and go to material to solve a problem yes in here there is a problem connect this here and here and apply Go to Niagara. There is an another problem. This white thing. It's completely reverse. Go to material. Uh, where is the problem? Where is it? There is no problem in this. I think yes, this is a problem. Disconnect this, select the sign in details, take two and connect this to X. And the Y value is 0.9. Apply and go to Niagara. Yes. The problem is solved. Now go to third person map. See how it look. Our Niagara is ready, but I it's too going too far, and I want its color. Go to Niagara. In here. Select the sphere location in large radius. Uh, take 20. It's okay. Now go to material in here. Add and multiply between this. Connect this to B. And connect this multiply to emissive color. Press 3. And connect this to multiply. Take any color. Green. Okay. Go to Niagara and see. It's coming or not coming. And now go to third person map play and see. Yes. A claw Niagara effect is ready. And thank you for watching CD Gaming channel. Don't forget to subscribe it.